Your 401k that you talk about at best pays about 40% pay cut. And when we talk about this stuff, you know what ends up happening? A lot of them talk about, I'm a manifested, I'm a manifested. You mean at 60 years old, all of a sudden you're going to manifest this man who's going to come in and make it all right. Ladies, no. Why are you so afraid? Why are you so afraid to admit you need a man? It's not about a want a man. Why are you so afraid to admit you need a man? My personal opinion, I have no facts, no data to support this because there's no, there's no way to poll this. But I've said, if you've noticed that as weight is increased, marriage is decreased. And I don't think, and I have not experienced our, our, our women really happy. They say they're fine. But I'm just I'm out I'm out just eating dinner tonight and a woman stops me in my car. I'm sitting on the phone talking to my mother and she stops me in her car, whips around and asks me, "Why can't I find a husband? What's wrong with me?" I mean, I'm, I'm like, "Well," and then if you simple questions come to find out you're going out to nightclubs and you're dating, you're picking men based on looks. So, in the nicest way I can ask, I want to know when. In this conversation, for this conversation, when black women are going to grow up and admit they need and require a man to survive to the end of life. Because you can't do it on one income. And unless you're planning on living with four or five women, you're going to need a man. You want a man. When you're going to go ahead and step into and grow up and address the fear of actually learning how to do something that should come pretty natural. This between men and women should come really natural. So I want to have the question, when, when are you going to step into the next phase of life? Meaning, just like I say, men need to be confident, intelligent, and assertive. You ladies are going to have to learn how to become assertive because... Like it or not, it's an open dating market. You have to compete against white women, Hispanic women, Middle Eastern women, and Asian women, plus the be plus all black women for the kind of man you want. You have to. It's not like you have an option. And see, that's why I think we've told so many women. They've made it made you believe you have the option. Like not having a man is no big deal, and you can do bad all by yourself. That's bullshit. When these people tell you you can do better all by yourself, they can't. They can't tell you who's gonna pay for your that 1.5 to 2.7 million dollars you're going to. Well, actually, it's close. The number is fifty thousand dollars. Fifty thousand dollars a year for a 40 year career, you're gonna need 2.7 million dollars. But even if we adjust it down, it's roughly about it's roughly about 1.9 million. So let's call it two million dollars. Even if you're making 37 thousand dollars a year, you're still gonna need two million dollars to retire on. Where two million cash? Where's that coming from? So all this, I'm living my best life. Hot girl summer. Uh, uh, you can't, you can't do it. The world is set up for couples and families. The world is not set up for individuals working middle class jobs. You, and I think that what's happened is most modern women have never had to deal with any illness or any sickness. They think they're going to just work until they die. The jobs are going to go, the jobs are going to go away. That's why I say winter is coming. Let's talk about, let's talk about it. Ladies only, ladies only, ladies only, because I think when we start, when we start honestly having women tell themselves the truth, I think many women will start to understand Hey, you know, we gotta, you got to start doing something different. You got to start doing something different. I don't want to talk to any guys. So here we go. And here's the thing. Just like I talked to that one young sister. We don't have to cooperate with each other. Ladies, you got to compete. 
you have to cooper you have to com you have to cooperate with the guy because understand something if you don't oh I don't even want to go down that path if you don't I don't know if y'all recognize that how many uh how many uh women are starting to look at black men like uh I'll take him if you don't want him. Yeah. Yeah. She said, I hate women. Yeah, I hate them so much I blocked you because I ain't got time to just talk to nobody that silly. Hello, if you could think somebody can see that, that's let me say, hey, hey, how are you doing? See, guys, what you just see is when sign language comes out, when they start talking about you hate women because you ask them the truth. Just, just block people like that. There's no need you talk to people like that. Just get them out of your world. Hey, how you doing? How you doing? Forgive I'm, the breathing. I just worked out. Okay. So how old are you? I'm 37. All right. So what's your question? All right. So my question is, how would you define two words that I feel like is thrown about a lot? Feminine and um, submissive slash cooperative. And what would, if you could give like an example or two in a situation, that would be great. Because I feel different. I feel like submission, I submission, respectful cooperation, respectful cooperation. Do you have a job? Mm -hmm. um, do you have any people who work to you, report to you? Mm -hmm. When you tell them to do something, you can tell if they're doing it begrudgingly, but they're still cooperating, or if they're doing it respectfully and in a good intention. Right? Definitely. One way they're submitting to you. The other way they're just doing it because they got to. Men want respectful cooperation. And what if you disagree with the request or the, or the um, demand? Um, Truthfully, uh, so. <laughs> what if what if you feel like it is going to derail or have a negative impact on the family, for example? Put your dick up. Say again. Put your dick up. Mm. See, you you and I are married, okay? Mm -hmm. We have a son. That's my boy. Kevin mm -hmm. Jr. There comes a time where I say something happens with Kevin Jr. and I'm going to say go right and you're going to say go left. Both of us love our child to death. One of us has to pick. One of us wins. Which way do we go? Right or left? I'm assuming it's automatically the direction that you said. I can't remember whether that was right or left. Why would we go your direction if I'm supposed to be leading my son and you? 